Hello, this is Julie Hine, founder of Business for Beauty. Are you a salon owner that is actually within a shopping complex? Well, today I'm going to take you through a few ideas, in fact, 10 ideas, on how you can ramp up your business if you're actually within a shopping complex. Regardless of how big or small it is, there are things that you can do to help boost your business. Many salon owners lament about being stuck in shopping centres and complain that their business is reliant on the traffic the shopping centre is actually generating. Now while that might be true to a certain extent, I'm never one to actually blame other people or not be proactive in building a business. So today I've got some tips to share with you on some of the things you might be able to do or think about. You know, you do have to be proactive and take the bull by the horns and not rely on shopping centre marketing teams or your suppliers to get you out of the doldrums if that's where you think you're actually heading. And I have been speaking to a few salon owners who are feeling like that at the moment. So firstly, get to know your clients. Get to know what really makes them tick. Who's walking past your door? What does she look like? What is she looking for? What's her background? What are her cultural preferences? What are the sorts of things you can do to really help these clients? This is getting to the backbone of building your business. Too often as salon owners we rely or we're wanting to market to the people we want coming into our salon as opposed to looking at what's actually walking past our doors. Secondly, survey your existing clientele. What do they really want? What sort of experience are they looking for by coming into your salon? What have they tried? What results have they got? And how can you actually make some improvements on that for them? You get the idea. You know where I'm coming from there. Thirdly, partner with other retailers. They might be experiencing exactly the same sluggish results as what you are, so you can help each other promoting each other's business. Source your clients on social media. Find out what interests them so that when you are looking to post things on Facebook, you can actually engage with them knowing what they actually like. On this note, review your new client form too to see whether there's any questions perhaps you can add to get to know your clients a little bit better. Fifthly, find out what community events are happening in your neighbourhood and see how you can be involved. Locals love seeing local business interacting with the community. Sixth, get the marketing plan from your shopping centre management. See what activities they have in store for the next 12 months. Maybe they've got some school holiday programs planned or anything else that you might be able to get on board and actually do some promotional activity and demonstrate your expertise. Seventh, check out the local kindergartens, schools and charities in your area. Be involved, see how you can do something to actually get your name out there into the marketplace. Another good one is actually local golf clubs. They have huge women memberships and they're always having luncheons and events and inviting women from other areas as well. You might be able to get a speaking gig at one of those and promote your business. Seventh, network with the local business. See what companies you have close to your shopping centre and put something together which is amazingly attractive to the females who work in those companies. But always think about if it was you, is it such a fabulous offer that you would get in the car and actually go there straight away? It has to be enticing. It has to be attractive. Eighth, join your local chamber. They always have ideas as to how to build business and have networking events that you can go along to and get yourself known as well. Ninth, market your business accordingly. Look at the types of shoppers in your centre and market to them because you know what, if you've just got seniors in your shopping centre, then they have families, their families have families and they love telling their families about the wonderful experience that they've had on that particular day. And if that was your business, you're going to get that referral business. So don't discount the type of shoppers that you have actually in your shopping centre. So there you go, some tips on how you can actually ramp up your salon business if you are within a shopping centre. And it's not about thinking to relocate or comparing yourself with another shopping centre down the road either because they will have similar issues just like you 
everything's relative. So focus on what you've got, focus on what you've got right in front of your door and go for it. This is Julie Hine wishing you salon brilliance and success. Oh, and by the way, if you like this video and there are some tips that you'd like to share, please share this on Facebook and social media and send it on to your colleagues. And don't forget to post your comments below. I look forward to speaking with you very soon.